Hello everybody, welcome to Bad Big Games where we talk about all things PlayStation and games and today we're going to talk about my top five things I loved from the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order trailer. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, Future Joe, start the show. So let's set the stage before we get into the things that I saw that struck my interest. First and foremost, um, I was actually kind of hesitant getting into this event because Although I love Star Wars and Respawn is one of the best developers in the business, this is an EA game. And EA has been dropping the ball with a lot of their franchises as of the recent years, especially with the Star Wars IP. So Star Wars is very near and dear to my heart and it just hasn't been handled with that tender love and care. But again, Respawn, they make nothing but great games. Titanfall, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, before that, they know how to make a good first person shooter, but how are they gonna take a Star Wars IP with a third person aesthetic? So with that, let's talk about the first thing that I really loved out of this trailer. So the first thing we see in this trailer is actually one of the first things that surprised me about this game. I was expecting a Force Unleashed style gameplay where the Force is just amplified up to 11 and you're just slicing and dicing, just going into one kill box after another. Here, it's a lot more methodical. It surprised me that I got a lot more Uncharted vibes than I thought we were going to get. There's a lot of wall crawling and there's a lot of vine swinging. You're actually force gripping vines to swing from one platform to the other. And then there's wall running that we see a lot in the Titanfall series. So that's no surprise that it's there, but the movement caught my interest. It actually kind of felt more like an Uncharted or even like a God of War style of getting from one place to another and in a more methodical thought out way where it's not just here's a hallway, here's another kill room, go fight a bunch of dudes. There's just more thought in the way you traverse the levels and I really dug it here. Number two on the list is Forrest Whitaker's in a video game. So Forrest Whitaker plays Saul Guerrero in both Star Wars Rebels and you probably know him in Star Wars Rogue One. Now his character is super unique, but we didn't get to see a lot of background with him in Rogue One that it looks like we're going to see how radical he is in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's awesome that we see his character return and a few other references to older characters as well. So it's awesome to see that Respawn's taking the lore that's already existing and placing it into this new IP that is going to be canon. So it's just awesome to see. So let's talk about combat in this game and let's first talk about lightsabers. The one thing that I hate about the prequels is that lightsabers felt like it didn't take any effort to use one. You could just wield it around like it's a goddamn light show. It was just felt like it weighed a feather. And in video games, most of the times, lightsabers feel like nerfed lightsabers. You take seven, eight, ten whacks to kill one thing here in this game it's way more methodical yes even akin to and i hate to say it a dark souls-esque more one-on-one -on -one combat than just putting a thousand stormtroopers in the room and watching you wreak havoc you're an apprentice cal is not a trained jedi he's a learning one this is a house of learned doctors and so he's not that powerful every swing takes effort and every swing that you connect with an enemy is usually a killer swing. So when you're swinging at stormtroopers, nine times out of 10, they took one to two hits tops and they were done. The only things that took multiple swings to actually kill dead were the death troopers that you were fighting, the stormtroopers in black and those weird uh, spider thingies. But other than that, lightsabers feel for the first time in a video game like they can actually do some freaking harm so i really liked the physical combat in this game it was really awesome we haven't seen anything like this in a star wars video game in a really long time so i really liked it so let's move away from the combat and let's get a little philosophical here to the force abilities in the game. Now you could use the force for many things like blasting your way through a doorway or holding a platform or even gripping vines so you can traverse through the environment fast and easy or you could use the force in combat situations. And the thing that's really awesome here is we saw some really cool force abilities like the lightsaber, you know, Vader toss that Vader does all the time, but you're actually using it and it's spinning around. You could grip enemies towards you so you could stab them in the chest and you got, you could feel the panic in the stormtrooper's helmet. You could freeze blaster bolts in midair, kind of like Kylo Ren. And the crazy thing we saw was after freezing the blaster bolt, you could grip a stormtrooper to you and then you could direct them to the blaster bolt so you shoot them with their own blaster that 
is freaking nuts. You can hold them in, in place, kind of like force paralysis. It was awesome. But even with all those cool force abilities, Cal is still, again, an apprentice. Is he a powerful Jedi? It looks like he could be, but he's still untrained. So even though he has all these cool abilities, they never feel completely overpowered. They still feel kind of fair. And with that, let's end this conversation with shoving that guy into his own blaster over and over again. God, that's so freaking cool. Damn, this game's cool. And last but not leastly, let's talk about BT1, the cute little droid that sits on your back. And I talk about BT1, not because he's one of the most adorable things that I've ever seen in Star Wars. We need to protect this thing with our life. But we also see that BT1 shoots little, looks like kyber crystals out of his backpack and Cal catches it. That's actually what you use for health in the game. So you don't just regenerate health. This is a more grounded experience. And as we see below, that lightsaber indicates your health. The UI was insanely clean here. So you see this little hilt, you see a number, and then you see the lightsaber. The lightsaber is your health. And then right above the hilt, that number is how many crystals that BT can shoot at you. And I guess you could get them along the way, but you have to think about every single combat situation before just going in guns blazing. And I really like that. So BT, shout out to you. Let's see what the 501st can do and how awesome they can make you. So with that, let's get back to my final thoughts. So walking in, I was nervous. Walking out, I'm confident that this game is going to be a real solid product and i really liked it. i thought we were only gonna get like a two three minute trailer i thought i was just gonna throw together a reactions video but this was a 15 minute chunk of a real level it wasn't to a get hyped level it just showed you here's what you can expect half of a level to look like and i dug it it was a really real take on a press conference on a trailer and walking out i I'm confident, you know, Star Wars is my favorite franchise ever. Respawn is one of the most talented developers in the industry. And I think they're going to come out with something that is going to be really special. So this is awesome. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm confident walking out of this event. This is a, this is a very confident day one buy for me. So I want to know what you guys and gals thought in the comment section down below. I know while I was live streaming it, a lot of people were either yay or nay. Nay in the, the fact that it was a little bit too slow for some people. Uh, they wanted some get hyped moments. But for me, what I saw the other camp where I aligned with was, man, I just love Star Wars and it's given me something I've, I've never seen in a Star Wars game, a more grounded-esque take on Star Wars. It's It's been a while since we've gotten a really solid, good video game out of them. So, um, I think this is it, man. So again, let me know what you thought of it down below. No wrong answers, whether you liked it or didn't. I just want to talk video games because that's what Bad Bit Games is all about. Whether it's top five videos like these, news or reactions, unboxings, should you buys, the trophy room, a podcast made by the players for the players, then please hit like, share, subscribe. It helps me out, shows me that you care, builds this big, beautiful family that I call home. So with all that said and with all that out of the way, keep your wits about you and have a nice one.